goodness. Got to do something about this mess. With the oh, hello, welcome once again to the Mask Fan Attic. The attic above Horror Hotel where uh, once again seems to be uh, that time of the week to creep up to the attic and look for a cool, interesting Halloween mask. And well, uh, let me just tell you guys, here's, here's a little helpful uh, tip for you. If you're up here with me in the attic, and if you're as tall or taller than me, and I'm six feet, if you're taller than me or if you're as tall as me, if you come up here and you don't uh, stoop down a little bit and, or, or bend at the knees or something, bend over a little when you're uh, in the outer uh, areas of the attic, uh, if you don't do that, if you stand straight and brush your head against the ceiling of the attic, you will, upon your return downstairs, uh, have dead spiders in your hair. Just a little tip there. Uh, but we're here to talk masks, and I just happened to see an interesting subject for study right there, namely the horror sanctum retro mummy. And when I say retro, I'm saying R-E-T-R-O as in nostalgia, not retro like George Jetson's dog. Uh, now this particular mummy, why do I like it? Let me tell you. Uh, it's part of a series designed to look like old school masks, like monster masks looked uh, back in the, uh, well, the golden age of masks, I guess, the 60s and 70s. And uh, this mask came out in 2010, but it really does have the look of something that would have been made available through uh, Top Stone or Don Post or somebody like that back in the day, as they say. And as far as uh, mummy characteristics, it has uh, the bandaged face, as you can see, partly covered by bandages, which makes it look a bit like uh, Claris, the mummy from Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy, 1953, although it reminds me the most, for some reason, of Tahotep, the mummy from Assignment Terror, 1971, a.k.a. El Hombre Que Vino de Homo. It's true, El Hombre Que Vino de Homo. That's the name of it. Anyway. Reminds me of those. Also has a little bit of Christopher Lee-ness. Christopher Lee-ness? You know what I mean. A little bit of a Christopher Lee resemblance to the features, which also makes it kind of hammer-esque. Uh, also looks a bit like the guy from The Mummy Shroud, Prem, um, as played by, oh dear, who played uh, the Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Powell? Okay, we'll look that one up. That's a guess. Uh, but anyway, it kind of looks a bit like all those great classic movie mummies kind of smushed together into one very fun, I think, old school mask uh, that is a nice collectible and looks like the kind of mask that we got back when we were kids a million years ago when masks were fun to collect. And it says right on the back here, HH, I'm sorry, HSS, Horror Sanctum Studios, Retro Mummy says right right there on the back HSS retro mummy and now the top stone masks that this is sort of emulating usually were more like three quarters and just sort of stopped here and didn't give you this much coverage of the neck and the back of the head so this is a bit more uh, than a top stone mask would have been and a bit uh, thicker better casting too but uh, really has the old school look and uh, again combines characteristics of a lot of classic mummies and I just think it's a super fun mummy. And if you're looking for a, a fun mummy, if your idea of fun includes uh, ancient, rotting, undead corpses, and I know mine does, um, I recommend it. And there you go. So uh, until next time, stoop over if you're in the uh, outer areas of the attic where the uh, ceiling gets a, a bit lower. And if you've uh, already failed to do that, go have a friend to pick those dead spiders out of your hair and we'll see you here again next time. Thank you.